So if you want to import your own three models inside of Adobe Dimension, you can go to file right over here. Then you can go to import and then choose 3D model. So once you do that, you can see over here in my desktop, I got a 3D model file in FBX format, which is supported for import in Adobe Dimension. So these are the models that are supported, OVZ, FBX, and all the other formats which are supported are listed here. So once you choose the file that you want to import, you can simply press open and that file will be imported. You cannot see anything right now, but no worries. Let's just press F on our keyboard so it zooms to that area right over here. So this is the 3D model. It's the International Space Station model right over here. So you can go over here and then work around with any um, a workaround just like with any other 3D models uh, that we worked around with before. So you can scale this out right over here and let's work around with this. So you can see that you can scale this out over here and work around with this. You can rotate this around. You can tilt it around. So let's just rotate it. Let's just tilt it around and drag it to the top. And just like that, you can work around with this over here, this 3D model. You can also add in materials to it and everything else, just like as you can with the other 3D models right over here. And this uh, has been imported as a, a group as well, as you can see. So I can actually expand the folders in. I can go into the notes and you can see that I can choose like individual objects right over here. Uh, for this model and work around with them as well. So you can see that I can work around with individual nodes over here as well, as long as the model itself is a group just like that. So there you go. That is how you import your custom 3D models inside of Adobe Dimension. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.